Welcome to episode 17 of Algo Trading Series from Market Secrets. In this episode, we are going to learn how to code MACD intraday trend following strategy. So let's get into the setup. This is a slightly complicated strategy and we will be using Bollinger Band in combination with MACD to take buying, selling, shorting and short covering decisions. We will buy when MACD line crosses the signal line with histogram above zero and closing price of the candle is above the top of the Bollinger Band. And we will short when the signal line crosses the MACD line with the histogram below zero and the closing price of the candle is below the bottom Bollinger Band. And we will sell when we get the short signal and we will cover when we get the buy signal. This is our trade condition. Now let's begin with the script setup. So let me open the script. So the first part of the script is self-explanatory. These are used for setting up the values to the parameters to be used for backtesting, which we have already discussed in detail in the previous episodes. So I'm skipping this part. The next four lines are used to assign the buying, selling, shorting and short covering prices whenever buying, selling, shorting and short covering conditions are triggered by the system. We will use the open price of the candle to enter and exit the trades. The next three lines are used for setting up the chart and plotting the chart title and price candles. This is something that we have used in every single episode, so I'm skipping this part. The next two lines are used to plot the every alternate day in the different colors or shades. These are just for customization and you can ignore it if you don't want it. The next two lines are used to set the time limit for the trades. We will take the trades only after 9.30 am in the morning and we will square off all the trades by 3.15 pm. And the next six lines are very critical and these six lines are used for setting up the parameters for MACD and the signal line. This is the typical MACD setup using two moving averages and a signal line. We are also calculating the histogram here. But remember, we are not plotting this in the chart. This is only being used to make the buy and sell decisions. It's not being plotted. Now, the next six lines are used for assigning parameters for the Bollinger Band. We will be using the periods and width to create the top and bottom Bollinger Bands and plotting the same in the chart. So if you look at here, we are calculating the periods and the width and we'll be plotting the top band and bottom band using the same. And now comes the crucial part, which is trade conditions. We will be using Bollinger Band and MACD to take buying, selling, shorting and short covering decisions. So when it comes to buy condition, we will buy when MACD line crosses the signal line with histogram above zero and the current time is within the allowable trade time of 9.30 am and 3.15 pm and the closing price of the candle is below the bottom Bollinger Band. Likewise, when it comes to short condition, we will short when the signal line crosses the MACD line and the histogram is below zero and the current time is within the allowable trade time of 9.30 am and 3.15 pm and the closing price of the candle is below the bottom Bollinger Band. So this is our short condition. And when it comes to sell and cover condition, we will sell when we get a short signal or if the time crosses 3.15 pm. And we will cover when we get a buy signal or if the time crosses 3.15 pm. So this is our trade setup. Now the next four lines of code are used to remove the excess buying, selling, shorting and short covering signals. So you very well know about this. And the next part is for printing the buying, selling, shorting and short covering prices and also the value of MACD, MACD signal line and histogram value. And the last piece of code is used to plot the shapes like a arrow and down arrow in the charts whenever there is a buy, sell, shorting and short covering signals. So if you look at here, you'll be able to spot the up and down arrows or green and red arrows which will indicate the buying and selling points. So moving on to back test. I'm going to run a back test on this particular strategy now. So I'm going to be running this back test on Nifty and Bank Nifty for a period of six months. And this is being executed on a 15 minute time frame. And we are talking only about the long positions here. So I'm going to run the back test now. So if you look at the results, 
this strategy is able to generate approximately 11k profits on a capital of 2 lakh rupees in 6 months. So this is about 10% annualized returns. So you can play around the parameters that we have used in this strategy to optimize the returns further. So do give this a try and let us know in case of any queries. As always, you can change and play with any of the parameters that we have used in this particular episode, which includes the symbol in which you want to trade, the time frame in which you want to trade, and also the various parameters like MACD and Bollinger Bands. If you have any queries, comments, or concerns about this particular episode, please feel free to ask in the comment section. We'll be happy to answer it. Hit the like button if you have liked this video and share it with your friends if you find it useful. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video or conduct a live session. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Goodbye.